Hello ladies and gents, welcome to Underspace, a brand new game from Pots of Space Interactive. Yeah, one dude, it just currently hit Steam, and it is currently $19.99 on sale the first week of release for $17.99. Great buy, has a massive amount of content with over 120 handcrafted systems, single player mission set done, and there's 40 missions for that that we're going to do. And we're going to jump right into a new game, see how far it goes. We're going to look at all the different ships, everything you can do. And we get to fight monsters in space. This is Speaker Freighter Gold Convoy 7 to Battleship Hemadred, requesting weather update. Gold 7, we read you. Skies are currently clear. UHC trackers report a Category 2 storm on its way to the system. Estimated time of arrival is five hours, with three Star Chasers already in pursuit of its core. Hemadred out. Gold 6, what's your status? Cargo's intact. System check reports no issue. Nav computer is saying we've got two hours until the jump hole, and it's stable. Acknowledged. Let's get this shipment home, gentlemen. Status report! Storm signal is going off! What? That's impossible. Scan for... Gold 3 just went down. Full hull breach on multiple decks, both transports. Open a channel on all frequencies and shunt all power to comms. Battleship Hemadred, this is Gold 7. We are under attack. Repeat SOS. We have taken heavy storm damage. Gold 7, we read you and our scrambling fighters. Requesting status on your attacker. Gold 7, we read no storm. Repeat, what are you under attack from? I... Hangar decks, please. Hasn't even been an hour, and they've already got billboards up. So the court convicted you. It's bad, and it's all bad. But not as bad as it could be. Mm. Let's get this out of the way. Your fortunes are gone. That's the worst one. You have a small stipend, so you don't starve, and that's about it. And finally, you're no longer allowed to hold any sort of corporate or estate titles in Baldwin Space. I can't run a company or own property? In Baldwin Space. There's nothing stopping you from emigrating and restarting anywhere outside Voldrick. What, become an expatriate? Move to Ujunus or the Axel? It's not so bad, Cardoz. I know plenty of Zero Tens out there that... Ah, so now we get to the core of the issue. Cardoz. Look me in the eye and tell me then. Tell me that I would have been found guilty if I wasn't what I was. Yes, yes, you would have been. It looked bad, Cardoz. Even if you hadn't spent the past 30 years trying to piss off every high house, I love you like a brother, but set aside your pride for a second. You had just taken out a huge insurance policy on those freighters, security systems were lagging behind, and you yourself admitted that Speaker Freight hadn't seen growth this year. Yes, and all of those had perfectly reasonable explanations. Except your convoy wasn't destroyed by a storm. What? That's what I was trying to tell you. It's where I've been. All right, finally in game. He's like the only person like on our side. Let me see. I checked the weather patterns, talked to the dispatchers aboard the Hammerhead. I even got access to Gold Z's black box. They were destroyed well before any storm rolled in by something. So what? A storm right blew them up? Or pirates? Terror is not a fully mapped system. Any number of things could have taken him out. Want my advice, Cardoz? It's not worth pursuing. At this point, you've got bigger things to worry about. Things we need to discuss. Because even if a store right or something was responsible, what's it going to change? Everyone whispers things about you. Earl 10 Renegade 
fratricide. Ooh, they bring this up, or proving it would just add cultist and stormlight conspirator to that list. Man, we are in a bad spot. Yeah, no one cares if you're innocent. Yep, that's not what the court thinks. And they're the ones that would give you your company back. The high houses, the judges, the governors, you've always been guilty in their minds. This just proves it. Ah, Bob. Your brother's been dead for 30 years, but you've been guilty well before that. These past two weeks with the convoy, it should be anything new to you. I'm sorry. Let's see. No, uh, not one that's a zero ten. Zero is that zero dash ten? I wonder if that rating means. And not one that doesn't toe the line constantly. At this point, you're going to have to seek other employment. Yep. Freelance work, mining. Oh. The way I see it, the only option left to you is star chasing. How? Yep. I have no money, no assets. I doubt most people would give me a job. I don't even have a ship. That's not completely true. I managed to drag this thing out of storage. Had to pull a lot of favors to get it cleared to fly, but it will. I'll need to find work. Talk to the chapter master here on Valdric. They're a Macrovari. They won't care about your trial or anything else if they even know who you are. In the meantime, if you need anything, you know where to find me. You'll get through this, Cardoz. You're nothing if not competent. Thanks, Cardoz. What else are friends for? All right, and now we are dumped into the game. Okay, so across the top, you can see there's F2, F3, F4. At any time when you're in a station or on a planet, if you right-click your mouse, you get your uh, doohickey, your pointer. So we can go to the launch bay, warp to the bar. If you want to just take off and explore, be my guest. This game completely lets you do that. This is one of those things where you can uh, tap in, tap out of the main storyline. But once you start a story mission, it won't let you do any of the other missions until you finish that specific story mission. But then you can go screw off and do whatever. So next we've got uh, warp to equipment dealer, cargo trader, ship dealer, but we have no money. Then we got warp to the chapter house, and that puts us straight in space. We'll go to the chapter house. Okay. And of course, you can see this is early access. But if you're an old freelancer fan, I mean, hey, it's all good. I don't mind reading stuff. But let's see. We got to wait until these two get done talking. Okay, here we go. Talk to Chapter Master. Yep, that's what I just said. Yep. Well, yeah. Makes sense. Alrighty. Hell, that was fast. Uh, look, Ricky, I know what they've told you at the Academy, but you've got to understand one thing. Yeah, we're not a rookie. This chapter isn't the kind that's out on the frontier chasing storm rights and selling their stories to movie studios. We fight and break up washers and their offshoot colts. It's not glamorous, you understand? It pays, right? It pays, yeah. It pays better than most, in fact. I'm in. You sure? Because I know Academy types like to... Whoa, 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 son. I'm a star chaser. Yeah, that's what I am. All right. Pretty simple. Scoring convoy to... Wow, Agonite to Spoiling Train Yard. Pay out 65 grand. I'm in. Get space side meet up with the squad leader. Name it Yulis. Find in the details. All right. Okay. All right. So that's our map for the sector we're currently in. There's our inventory and our ship. That is pretty cool looking. Can't fire anything though. And we got weapons, ammunition, hardware, journal, special cargo. All of that's more important once we like actually have those things. Because right now we're just a busted ass ship 
with a thruster. Uh, old cl uh, class war shield. Steel catch, hole webbing, and then just a real basic weapon. And the way the game works is as you make more money and upgrade your ship, you will get points. Now, after we complete this first mission, I think we get 12 points. And then you start pumping them into these bad boys. As you can see, that'll boost ammo, rep gain, salvage rates, which knowing me is what I'll go after. Shield rate. We can't do anything with this one, so I would assume we've got to put these up to a certain level before we go down. You can see we got our playtime up there. Reputation. So as we go through, we'll have factions, the military, corporations, personal log, all those various things. All right, so warp to launch bay. That's weird. I mean, we could have just straight hit and did Z instead. Launch straight out, but it's all good. Clear to launch. Good luck out there. All right, we are currently in our cruise mode. They're going to talk to us. We're not even moving yet, are we? No, we're not. Oh, I mean, Cardoz. Now, supposedly there's going to be voice acting for all this. All right, so we got our flight controls, real basic space, W, S, double tap, tinter, high engine mode, extra reverse. Uh, it does say on Steam that you can use a controller with this. I'm not going to, but... Now, one of the easiest ways to do anything when, uh, when it comes to going anywhere in the game is you put your you got to be in this stable mode which is your space free flight right versus stable come over here you click on it and then you hit Navigating f2 to waypoint and that should take us to the waypoint oh it's going to bust that ass weird way You want to make sure your cursor is always right around the center here, just because. Uh... When you get somewhere, it'll kick us out of the. It'll put us in the free flight Waypoint mode. Waypoint reached. It does sometimes, not always. And you can stop at any time. Okay. Yeah, fine through right. Same kind of thing. So, put ourselves in uh, the safe transit mode. Get that. Navigating to waypoint. <clears throat> it also gets you there a little quicker than doing it yourself. Well, that's what I was talking about. It does weird stuff sometimes. So this is the one I think we should be going to. Yeah, it's got the little triangle in the center. Should be it. You do want to watch the FOV on this? You turn it up too high and you can't see a damn thing. Lane corridor interrupted. And let's have some combat. Yeah, get out of my way. All right. You got a right click on them. Just lost the ship. B button. Target in sight. Taking off. Star tube. Whoa. Chip. Dash. One. Why is my 
Gun now not work. Oh boy. Wrong button. Is that a bad ship that just flew by us? Might have been. Okay. Uh, levels by shooting ships. Yep. Yep. Collection failed. Blow this thing up. Okay. Yep. Collection so. failed. Which is weird. You think I'm I'm right here, I'd would have gone at. But sometimes if you hold down B, if you actually hold it down, it will highlight where you should be heading. Okay. Navigating to waypoint. That should take us right back into that waypoint. Hopefully. Oh, no. Not again. That's so weird. All right. We want to go this one down here because that's where it's just the train yard thingy. I think we're going the right way. Warming up on me, huh? Okay, and this is where I was turning right. Detected objects. So if you had money and you wanted to go to one of these stations, you could click on it and guide your way, or we can try and do this. Navigating to waypoint. Make sure we put our cursor. Hopefully it doesn't keep jerking us every time. But there is a faster mode. It can always help too. You'll know what direction you're supposed to be going because of the arrows. Especially when you're coming out of a spot. Do it. Okay. I like coming out to the side. You never want to hit them head on. So far, that's one thing I've learned real quick with these guys. Because they will smoke you. Yep. Collection failed. What? Damn it.
That looks just like my ship. Collection failed. Collection failed. Okay. Navigating to waypoint. <laughs> so once we get past this station and a little, uh, like maybe five clicks from it, yeah, you can hit your abyssal drive, but we can't do that. And I'll show you. Oh, it's not even letting me do it. We're too close to any large bodies or jump gates. You can't use it. See? But I will do some uh, editing here and there. Because there is a lot of just this. What you guys are seeing right now. We're just waiting. Till we get to the next thing. So... Still too close. Come on, I want to show them. There it is. It'll automatically turn off when you get too close to something, or you can pull yourself out of it. Once it's fully charged. want to do here <clears throat> because there'll be stuff to screw with it pull us out now if you waypoint reached want to see um a lot further into the game. She oh, shit. Oh, that was not what I wanted. That's what I was trying to frickin' Shield avoid. Fire. There we go now. Everybody split up. Whoop. Where are you going, sucker? Oh, big ship. Always take the small ones first. And we don't have a missile launcher or anything else yet. Oh, he's almost dead.
And there we go. Let's see. Danger, incoming storm. Ah, oh, darn. Looks like I just missed the idol smashers. Oh well, more's the same. Hail rookie, you up for a star chase? Not sure I'm qualified. Bah, it's a cat one storm. No better time to learn. Yeah. I'll shadow you and sh caught in an under spatial storm. They surge, they come out of nowhere. Um, they build in category as they build in category. The monster at the center that we're gonna go fight gets worse and worse. It can be all kinds of crap. It's not necessarily a monster. Shall we kill it? Uh, approaching rift will cause cosmic monsters, unknown horrors, deadly anomalies. Some of these must be destroyed. Yeah, we gotta kill something here first. Let's go to underspatial rift. Navigating to waypoint. Yeah. What's up, dude? Excuse me. All right, that is what we're going to be fighting. We've got to get close enough to it to actually see it, and then it's going to come after us. She got away quick. Damn. Woohoo! Miss me, bitch. Ooh. I spoke a little too soon. Got me that time. I'm sorry, I'm used to fighting spaceships, not freaking monsters in space, man. Well, I'm gonna get you, son. Get off me. Now I'm not sure if you're supposed to shoot this thing. Or scan it. Or fly through it or what. Maybe you just fly into it. Yeah. And you can do that. It's just another space station, a different way you can go about it. We got to go all the way back to the Rickon shipyard 
And that is where we will pick up the next episode. Nothing will probably happen between here and there. So do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the old channel. Tell me what you guys think. Are you ready for a kick-ass space game? See how far it goes, where it takes us? Let me know. As always, keep your heads down, your ships of doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.